Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing some lip swatches because it's been a minute. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen any of my previous lip swatches, I will link the playlist in the cards. But I've done tons and tons of lip swatch videos on all different kinds of lip products, so you guys can check that out. Today we're gonna to be swatching the newest collection from Clay Depot, and they were kind enough to send this whole collection out to me so that I can swatch and show you guys all of these beautiful shades. And there's 16 total shades I'm gonna be swatching for you guys but first I'm gonna give you some information about the product and also about the brand in case you're not familiar with clay depot they're actually a luxury beauty brand in Japan and they have amazing skincare and makeup products as well but this is the first time I've tried anything from them so I was really excited to test these out for you guys you can just see from the packaging of these products that these are luxurious beauty item these are glass containers so they have a substantial weight to them even in the small details like the glass on the matte finish is actually a matte frosted glass and then on the shine finish this is a smooth shiny glass and then on the top of the lip products there's a gold embossed logo for the clay de po symbol so you know exactly what it is so it's definitely something that's nicer and fancier when you carry it around you just know that it's a very special beauty product and here's a close-up of the color range for the radiant liquid rouge shine it says it's formulated with skincare ingredients for optimal and long-lasting moisturization. A luxurious finish infuses lips with rich, deep color for a bold, captivating look. And then for the matte finish, it's a smooth whipped formula that spreads evenly for a uniform matte appearance with abundant moisture. It infuses your lips with rich, deep color for a bold and elegant look. Now let's get into these swatches. I'm gonna start with the shine finish first and I'm just gonna go in numerical order how they have it arranged. So first we have sepia. This is a shade that I've been trying out and I've been loving it it's a very neutral shade I feel like it's very wearable I can get a really nice and even application with just one swipe of the product I didn't have to go back for more which I love and I think that's mostly because of the applicator it's a point to doe foot applicator that holds a lot of product on it which I really like and it's also at a slant so it makes it comfortable when you are applying it the point on the doe foot also helps to get a little bit more precise around your lips as well Next we have Sugar Jelly and this looks like a bright corally pink. This is a very vibrant, fun shade, especially for the summertime. I love that it has so much shine, but it's not sticky whatsoever. I can put my lips together and they don't get stuck. I've tried some other liquid lipstick products like this that have a shine to it. They end up getting really, really sticky and goopy and they just clump up and look like a hot mess. But this looks and feels so comfortable on. And the next color is Delicious Dream, and this looks like a berry rose shade. And speaking of rose, there is a very light, very pretty rose scent to each of these lip products, and it's not an invasive scent at all. That shade did leave a little bit of a stain on my lips, but we're getting into some of the deeper shades, so it's probably gonna keep staining my lips. But the next one we have is Tulip Fever. This to me looks like a fuchsia pink. Again, it's another really vibrant, bright, fun shade. And I feel like with this one, you can really see how rich and deep the color is. It's super bold and I just need to do one swipe on my lips. Next, we have Bird of Paradise. This is a very vibrant, bright coral orange. This one is such a fun summer color. It reminds me of like a fruit popsicle. I think with the shade, it would look really pretty with just a very subtle hint of this color on the center of the lip. I just think of this color going really well with a very bronzy, glowy look. And then we have Tangy. This is a very bright, almost neon bright pink. Again, very similar to the last shade. I feel like this, because it is such a vibrant shade, that it would look really great with a glowy summer look. But I also feel like shades like this are typically kind of in your face and really bold, but they did it in a way that it's actually pretty wearable. Next, we have Red Current, and this is a classic red. This actually looks like the perfect neutral red. It is so, so vibrant, and the color is so rich. I feel like it's gonna suit a lot of skin tones, and I feel like it's such an eye-catching red. Red. like this is a statement lip the red definitely stained my lips a little bit but the last shade we have is midnight dew and this looks like a berry red not so much red as it is like a 
plummy purpley pink. It does have a little bit more of a blue undertone to it. But those are all eight shades of the Radiant Liquid Rouge in the Shine finish. I think my favorites were Sepia, the first nudie shade we tried. And then Bird of Paradise was that really bright coral shade that I loved. And also the red, it was just such a beautiful neutral red. It's so, so pretty on. I love a classic red lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade off and we'll move on to the mattes. So again, going with their numerical order, first we have Cream Crush, and this is a very light, nudie, neutral pink. It's actually more of a dusty, nude pink on the lips, but with this formula, because it is more of a moussey, light texture, I do go in a second time to pick up more product, but it's super comfortable feeling on the lips. It's not drying whatsoever. It's actually very, very moisturizing. Next, we have Touch of Blossom, which is another more nude shade. It's a peachy pink nude. It's kind of like a My Lips But Better, but a little bit brighter. I did also notice that the applicator is different on the matte formula compared to the shine. The matte ones are a little bit more narrow, not as flat. It is still a doe foot applicator with a slight point to it. And then we have Nectar. This looks like a bright corally peach. I really like the texture of these on the lips because with the matte finish, it just makes your lips look really like velvety and smooth and pillowy almost. I don't know how how to describe it. Next we have Gentle Dream. This looks like a bright pinky rose because I said rose again. These also have that same light, really pretty rose scent to them. I think the shade is a little bit too bright of a pink for me personally, but it's very fun and youthful. So far, I don't think any of the matte shades have been staining my lips really that much. The next shade we have is Midnight Magic and this looks like a dusty brick red. I definitely see more of those orangey warm tones in this red, but I think it makes it a lot less intimidating to wear a red like this than say compared to the red that we tried with the shine finish. And then we have Quiet Storm. This looks like a berry plum. I also really like that you can kind of build up these shades on your lips. You can definitely do a very subtle hint of color on your lips. And then you can also build up this color and make it really nice and rich. Next we have Silk Kimono, and this is a very, very vibrant, bright orangey red. The shade is definitely reminiscent of those bright red lips that geishas used to paint on. And I think it's gorgeous. It's just crazy how pigmented this color is, but it feels like there's nothing on my lips. Like it's just so lightweight and comfortable on. That red did stain my lips just a little bit, but we only have one shade left. And the last shade is another red. This one is called Evening Flame. I think this one is going to be the classic true red. Again, it's another really, really beautiful red. It does have a tiny hint of blue to it, which normally I wouldn't really like on myself. So those are all eight of the matte finishes. And of those, I have three favorites. I have Touch of Blossom, and then I've got Quiet Storm, and also Silk Kimono, that really bright, vibrant orangey red. I think those colors are really, really pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed these swatches of all 16 shades in the new Radiant Liquid Rouge collection from Clay to po. Let me know in the comments down below which shades were your favorites and I will have a link to the product in my description box. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment and let me know what other products you want me to swatch next. If you'd like to keep up with me on my other social media, those are linked down below for you for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!